Pretty typical fall morning with temperatures in the mid to upper 30s around the metro. We're at 36 in Des Moines. Southeast winds are at 7 miles per hour. Uh, just a light wind throughout the day today, but just enough of that to drop the wind chill to 30 in Des Moines right now. The actual temperature in Ames is 30. Grinnell, you're right at the freezing mark. Fort Dodge, 31. Uh, anyone that's in the mid or low 30s has a chance at frost. So that's basically all of our viewing area at this point. Uh, so just maybe give yourself a couple extra minutes to clear that off or start the car a little bit early as you head out this morning. Cool start. Great Great afternoon. Sunny skies are going to warm us up quickly. We get to 54 by noon. We'll spend much of the afternoon in the low 60s, which is a big improvement from the past couple of days. So dry, sunny weather all day long today. Tomorrow we'll see some clouds fill in early sunshine by the afternoon. It will be windy, especially tomorrow afternoon. And then a cold front's going to move through Friday night, and that will give us an, uh, our next chance at some rain. It's been dry all week long. That's been great. We'll keep that going today. Again, sunny all day long. Overnight tonight, clouds will fill in from the west. Uh, it's going to be thin, high level cloud cover so tomorrow morning it won't completely block the sun it's just going to filter it a, a little bit and then we'll see sunny skies return by the afternoon uh, these south winds tomorrow afternoon could gust up to 30 to 40 miles per hour so it's going to be a pretty blustery day but that's going to send some warm air our way as well so warm and windy is what we can expect tomorrow by friday night here comes the cold front uh, showers most likely in southern iowa future tracker does bring that up to northern iowa but it's it's more likely down south and then east on saturday morning should be out of our viewing area at noon at the latest for Des Moines. It's probably going to be gone by eight or nine o'clock in the morning. So most of the daytime Saturday should be dry and we'll see sunshine from the late morning through Saturday afternoon on Sunday, partly cloudy, but dry during the morning and the afternoon. And then our next chance for showers and a couple storms will arrive on Sunday evening and Sunday night. So those couple of rounds combined could bring us maybe an inch of rain. It's not going to be particularly heavy rain, which is good news. And your weekend forecast looks pretty good mid sixties and most of the weekend should be dry. Just kind of book ended by some shower and storm chances. After that, it does get cool next week. 50s return on Monday, and it looks like we'll stay there most of next week. In other words, enjoy today's sunshine.